debut. And, uh, we're happy to play here again. It's sad that maybe we won't be able to again. When did y'all play here for the first time? November. Middle of November. Sorry, it was like November mid, mid early November. Okay, November 15th. No, wait, no. Something like that. I think that. it was like a week before that. It was like November 9th or something. The week before Gobble Gobble, something like that. Okay, cool deal. So explain uh, your type of music for me. I'll, I'll kind of I'll chuckle for a second when I asked you before we started, but. Uh, we like Ty Seagal. Yeah, We like rock and roll, I guess, yeah, for the most part. Rock. It's kind of like garage rock. Some of, rock. It, some of it's a little heavier. Kind of punky. Yeah. A little psych rock influences. Yeah. Um, we just like to rip. Yeah. yeah. We just like to rip. <laughs> rip! And they basically described it as great music to drink to. So yeah. I, I think most, most of our listeners would, would like that. Uh, so how long have y'all been together? I know y'all did y'all's first show here was on the you know November 15th era. Uh, I'd say probably since early September. Sure. Maybe uh, four Ian, months. Ian I, I joined, in, yeah, right. basically Ian joined like the end of October actually. Like actually like two or three weeks yeah, before the first show. Yeah, I just kind of had to learn the songs and write some parts and you know, make my adjustments. But Get her done. Yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, so how rude of me. Go ahead and uh, please introduce yourselves. Uh, I'm David Reed. And the instrument you play? I play guitar. Ian McAdams, bass. My name's Andy Grimion. I sing and play guitar. I am Manch Cadwalder, and I play the drums. Yeah, and Alyssa first pointed you out, and she's like, yeah, that's Manch, and she said your last name. I said, do I have to say his whole name? And she's like, no. I said, okay. And then I probably offended her, because she didn't laugh. I was like, we should, they should nickname him Manwich or something, and she didn't, she didn't crack a smile at all. She was like... Yeah, you should go talk to him. I said, okay, I'm not going to do that. I don't want to offend anybody tonight. <laughs> but uh, so, how was it? What, you know, how did y'all come together? I'm always interested to see how a band is formed. So, me, Nick, and Manch, Nick from Ruby and Mermitol, had a band in Baton Rouge, I think, last year. And then Nick moved back to Lake Charles, and I still, me and Manch still wanted to have some kind of a band. And then Manch knew David, and they both knew Ian. And basically, we just played with two guitars and drums for a while until we finally got Ian, and then it was just a perfect fit. He likes all the same kind of music that we listen to. And the rest, as they say, is history. It was a huge hassle to find the bassist. Yeah. Ian was truly a godsend. He picked up yeah. on everything super fast. I've never played bass in a band. That dude just rips. He just rips for a living. I never played guitar in my band, so bass is new, but it's fun. He has his curly hair like it's angelic, like literally he was sent from the clouds, God said. <laughs> well, there you go. I like, I like the description, too. So, uh, how often do y'all get to come to Lake Charles? Is it pretty often? Or? My third time here. This will be our third. Yeah, third time here. Yeah. We only actually played one show. We played once in Luna. Okay. We played more shows here than we were from the base. Really? Yeah. 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 We're just starting to, we're still trying to get stuff. You know what, that we talk about that all the time. Every band that I've interviewed, and of course, y'all know Band of Foxes. Every band that we've interviewed, whether they're from here or New Orleans or Shreveport, it's a, it's a thing like it's your home base, so you actually don't get as much playtime there, or you you know your fan base isn't as strong there. Uh, so we have some bands when they go to Texas, they are the it like like you you know that's where their system is at. You know what I mean? Oh yeah. We're gonna pause for a second while we open up the back garage. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it's Root Beer and Mermintal walking in during our interview. How you guys doing? Hey, we're, we're in the middle of an interview, so I'm glad y'all walked in, though. How appropriate of you. No, no, this is perfect. This is perfect. So uh, we understand that you used to play with them back, back in Baton Rouge, correct? Uh huh. And, and so what is it like, y'all? I mean, obviously we're talking about Dorma. This could be the last night, but of course we're going to rock it still. What is it like to, to be back here with, with all these guys and getting to play with a band from New Orleans? I don't know. It's fun, dude. It's, it's a good time. Reunite with all your old buddies, getting all drunk, playing rock and roll. That's what it's all about. We'll go ahead and introduce ourselves for me. Yeah. Root Beer Richie, Bobby Lee Marmitol. Together we are Root Beer and Marmitol. Of course, and we love you guys. <laughs> uh, please describe what you're wearing tonight. He's always very festive, and that's why I love to interview him. Um, got on my, 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 captain's, my captain's cap and my denims. Okay. Mario's favorite attire. Lots of buttons. Buttons, pants. Uh, excited to see y'all here. Uh, what does it mean to y'all? I know that y'all have a long history with, with Dorma. You can't escape. We, we have to finish first. You... He's running out on me. That's not cool. So, what, what does it mean to you, though, too? I don't know. I'm very excited that if this does end up being the last time of Dawn, it means a lot to be able to be here and give it a proper farewell. Play with the balls. Okay. 
and I, we love we, we interviewed them last time and yeah they, they were a lot of fun especially this guy we, we, we love him he's crazy they all laugh because they know it's true they're like yeah that, that sounds just about right uh huh so anything else that y'all like to add though everything is real all the time I would like to say that uh, if nothing else tonight groove it chum chum groove it <laughs> Well, shout out to White Heat, Andy, David, Ian, and Manch. We really appreciate you guys. And of course, we're here at Murray Talk. Uh, thank you so much. We really enjoy having you on the show. And uh, we look forward to the next interview with you guys. For more of the interview, visit us at LA on Air with Bray J on Facebook or on Spreaker. Search for LA on Air and look for Show 25. Uh, send some music our way, would you? We'd appreciate that so we can air that here on the show. Uh, some of our listeners like to rock out. So, yes, let's, let's do that. Uh, also, if you're a musician and you have radio edited music, you can uh, submit it, of course, to LA on Air via LA on Air with Bray J at gmail.com. Uh, MP3 format, please. No zip files or shared folders. Just send it to us. MP3. Easiest way to do it. We upload it on the show. Uh, and you can, of course, message us if you want to uh, contact us. Uh, as far as how to get it on our online radio stations as well. We'll make sure to give you that information. Alyssa, thanks for filling in again. Alyssa's going to be with us uh, back for our next show, so look forward to it. And uh, anything you'd like to add? No, I mean, it, you know, just have a great week, everybody, and uh, and stay positive, and we'll keep you posted. Um, you know, thank you for having me, Braylon. I, I always have fun. I guess I'll see you in another couple of days. and. And we'll um, I'll fill you in on any on any uh, any news at that time. So, but um, yeah, you guys uh, just have an awesome week. You know, be awesome, be good to people, and uh, and stay tuned. Bray J here with you with Alyssa Elion Air with Bray J, and uh, keep it locked. Look forward to the new website coming at the end of the month along with the launch party on the 29th at Luna Live. If you're in the Lake area, we want to see you there. And a uh, free show. And when I say show, we're gonna have some performers for you. And uh, along with some big announcements, so you're going to want to be there uh, exclusively at Luna Live for that launch party. So if you're not there, there's some information you may not know about until we get to that point in the year. So it's important that you're there. Uh, again, thank you so much, you and Derek both. We appreciate it. Rooting Dharma on. Go to the Dharma Facebook page. Like it. Send them some words of encouragement and support. Show your love. And uh, be sure to support your local venues, restaurants. Uh, it, it really does matter, whether you realize it or not. It, it means a huge difference uh, in whether or not they're able to keep their doors open and whether or not they're able to book that next band uh, it, it matters so make sure you show your support Bray J here with you LA on air make it a great one Louisiana you're listening to the hottest internet station live from the lake city